This is an idea I have last year pa, but I keep putting it at the back of my idea list kasi mahirap siyang gawin and it takes a lot of creative juice and creative power to make this video. But thankfully, the holidays came by and para na-replenish ulit yung uh, creative juice ko. So here it is. Uh, this is the five life skills I wish they taught me in school now that I'm an adult. Before we go to the main topic of this video, I think our school system taught us about their skills. For example, yung time management skills. Somehow, natutunan natin yun sa schools through our projects and meron siyang deadline. So, somehow, natutunan mo yung pag-manage mo ng time, but indirectly. So, asa ka lang how I wish we have the subjects or courses, especially during yung graduating years mo about life skills. So, here it is. Money management, time management, stress management, leadership, and communication. I think these are essential skills pagka adult ka na. Reminder lang, I'm just another guy on the internet. Wala akong certification about this topic or any educational background or whatsoever. I'm just gonna use yung common sense ko which is kind of rare nowadays. So, take away what I say with a grain of salt and just like what yung speaker na pinakinggan ko sis, when you eat the fish, eat the meat, and throw the boat. I would just discuss these topics briefly kasi I think each topic could stand on its own, especially if we do a deep dive about it. So for this video, we're just gonna scratch the surface of each topic. Let's begin with something I'm comfortable talking about. Totoo lang, I don't know where to start with talking about money, but let's use your standard of how to achieve financial freedom. Once you're an adult, you start taking a job. And once you start taking a job, you start making your own money. And karamihan, when they first start making their own money, hindi nila alam yung gagawin nila. So if nandoon ka sa state na yun, good for you, hindi ka nag-iisa. So mostly, nang nakausap ko mga friends ko, what they do when they start earning yung money nila is they buy that shoes na matagad na nilang gustong bilhin or they buy that flagship phone na matagad na nilang gustong bilhin or they book that flight na matagad na nilang gustong puntahan na lugar. For me, it's fine. Handling your own money has its learning curve. Ang nakakatakot lang para sa akin is pagka natagalan ka ng sobra. Because uh, there will be times na baka magka-loan ka na or alam mo, you take unnecessary loans and that's the problem. Or kaya naman magkaroon ka ng gambling addiction or kaya naman magkaroon ka ng mental health problem that cause you to substantially burn your hard-earned money. So here is a brief summary of what you can do with your money once you start working. Step number one, if you have debt, eliminate debt. So magbayad ka ng utang mo. Step number two, open a separate savings account and save at least 10% ng income mo dun sa savings account na yon. So the higher you can save, the better. Step number three, build an emergency fund. So emergency fund, uh, save at least three to six months of your monthly expenses. Step number four, get the right protection. So insurance, life insurance, and health insurance. Step number five, open uh, an investment account. So most probably equity uh, investment account lang to. So UITF, mutual fund, stocks. Links in the show notes if you want a more deep dive about this topic. I made a video about this before. I'll just share to you what I've learned from last year because definitely that was the most stressful I've faced when it comes to personal and work-related stress. To give you an idea, my grandfather underwent surgery, my grandmother uh, was diagnosed with an early signs of Parkinson's disease, my mother, uh, dami na pintahan mga doctor last year, sobrang dami na yung check-up na pintahan, seeking ko ano talaga yung reason kung bakit may mga uh, body pain siya. So last weekend, sinamaan ko yung mother ko for her check-up. Then by the very end ng year, my great grandmother died. On top of that, the pressure from work to sell insurance to prospects, and my manager was always pushing me to sell more insurance. And it's fine because it's definitely part of the work. Kaya lang, uh, it just parang it was just too much for me last year. I came to the point na tina turn on ko na airplane mode ng phone ko para lang hindi ako marich ng mom ko and my manager because I was developing. Uh, an anxiety na with my phone na parang every notification na maririnig ko, kinakabahan ako. Yun, so I developed an anxiety with, with my phone and dumating ako sa point na, alam mo, parang you're just waiting for a bad news to reach you. So what I have learned from it, there are problems where you could solve the problem right away, parang boom, done, tapos. But there are problems na you have to suck it up. And pagka ganun, you have to have a uh, a healthy way of escapism. For the others, yung way of escapism nila is to run, jog, or any sport activity. Yung iba naman is to watch a movie. Yung iba naman is to play a video game. And for me, this 
making YouTube videos. I don't know for the people that was watching my videos a year ago. So somewhere between September or October, I was I was really sad and nigo alam if you noticed. But if you didn't notice, it means I was really able to escape using this YouTube videos. When I'm making these YouTube videos, I write, I film, I edit. Uh, and alam mo, parang it gives me, it puts me into the flow state where somehow I forget that I'm sad. Second is support system. I have three friends where if I'm going through dark shit, deep shit, I won't hesitate to reach them out. And I'm really grateful and thankful for them because uh, going through this dark times last year wasn't as dark because of them. So these three friends of mine are Monique, Tan, and Sai. Uh, si Sai is my first ever college friend and I'm really thankful because there, there, there's a time na alam mo parang I really need a phone call and during her lunch breaks or kaya naman magsi CR siya para lang to to attend to my uh, phone call or kaya naman kay Monique, uh, siya yung friend, college friend ko na sa US. Parang there's a time na uh, I called her at a bad spot because she's still angry but she uh, still attends to my phone call and me, yung emotional support needs ko. so yon and my best friend si Tan uh, if I really need uh, parang yung physical na uh, Mikey Pagkita he's, he's the one that I'm going to parang reach out and siguro parang runner up sa mga kaibigan ko is si Gian yung friend ko na laging G parang alam mo parang isang message mo lang oy pwede ko ba mamaya it, it really helps to have a great support system so having a different set of support system is really helpful kasi alam mo yun, there are times na kahit yung support system mo will not be available because uh, they have something on their own plate so I suggest uh, na to build a support system na parang magkakaiba. Okay, and dito na tayo sa point na mga nga pa na ako. So, pag-usapan na natin yung time management. So, for me, time management siguro uh, yung parang pinaka-basic na uh, meaning ito para sa is to optimize yung 24 hours a day mo. So, if you have a great time management skills, mapipiga mo yung 24 hours a day mo and you'll probably be productive than the others. So, what I think helps to be good with time is to write down yung mga gagawin mo or yung set of activities mo because probably makakalimutan mo yan or yung isa naman is para lang for you to visualize kung possible ba talagang magawa mo lahat ng activities mo in a day because alam mo yung parang doon mo makikita na makapunta ba talaga ako dito or magagawa ako ba talaga to. So, writing down yung mga gagawin mo really helps when it comes to time management. One technique that I would love to try this year is yung Pomodoro technique. So, parang ito naman, it's being hyper-focused for something or a thing na gagawin mo. So, for 25 minutes, you'll drop everything and isa lang yung gagawin mo. Then, may mga setup break siya. Then, another, ano na naman, 25 minutes of hyper-focus, then break. So, yun, I think it's a, it's a good technique para mapiga mo yung uh, productivity mo when it comes to yung ta ginagawa mo and yung time na limited time mo. And another is, let's stop being fucking late. Alam mo yung parang, when people makes me wait, alam mo yung parang, I could do something fun and instead, nagahantay ako sa yun. So, it's very disrespectful. So, it's time to be punctual this coming year. Number four, leadership. It sounds a very big word para sa akin, but it can be as simple as leading your own self or leading your friends mo doesn't necessarily mean na you're leading a business or a company. I think this is something you develop and you gain because it heavily relies on how much someone pays respect sa yo. For me, how you gain respect is if you walk the talk or pag may sinabi ka, gagawin mo talaga. It can start from being punctual na pag sinabi mo, ay, dadating ako sa gantong oras and dumating ka. Or pagka naman meron kayong lakad ng mga friends mo na may, may isang uh, umayaw, hindi ka pa rin aayaw kasi sinabi mo pupunta ka eh. Or kaya naman if may New Year's resolution ka, you stick with it. And for me, it, uh, gaining respect is as simple as being a man of your words. Last na lang that I'll add when it comes to leadership. I remember when I was in school and merong mga project, group project, alam mo yung parang Ang ina-award na ng mga teacher na best leader is the one who contributes the most sa project or mag-isa niya mismo ginawa yung project. And parang, what? ba Ang leader is someone who makes a group cohesive and parang, alam mo, parang he makes the group work together and hindi yung ginawa niya mag-isa yung project. It's just ironic pag titignan mo na siya ngayon. And it's illogical. I guess dapat yung award niya is great performer or great worker but definitely not leadership award. Ah, 
communication is the key. Something I heard a lot with my couple friends. And for me, communication simply means passing a message you want to parang send to someone or parang may gusto kang sabihin to, to someone. And in today's age, and dami ng forms or ways of communications. It could be through text, phone call, video call, or chat, and so on, so on. I don't really care what form of communication you use for as long as na papasa mo yung message mo, kung paano mo siya intent, it's okay. It's just weird kasi a lot of fights happen dahil sa miscommunication and once na parang they're nagkasink na sila, nagkabating na sila, parang maisip nila, ah, yun lang pala yung gusto mo iparating. If nagbago yung framing ng video ko, it's because uh, my battery died, nagpalit ako, so nagalaw yung camera, so that's why the framing changes. Uh, okay, back to what I was saying, you want to parang uh, say an important message and parang gusto mong makasigurado if nakakuha niya talaga kung ano yung gusto mong sabihin, it's always good to ask for feedback and parang ask him or her to explain sa'yo kung ano yung in-explain mo sa kanya for you to parang double check if nakuha niya talaga yung message na gusto mong sabihin. I think this is a skill na you could enhance through experience and practice and alam mo yun, parang expanding your vocabulary would definitely help you parang communicate to others well and alam mo yun, kaya lang, uh, paano ba? It's just a pain in the ass not knowing the right words to say because sometimes there are specific words na makakatulong sa'yo to express kung ano talaga yung ibig mong sabihin. I hope dun sa last two skills na sinabi ko hindi bumaba yung energy level ko or how I presented it. Kasi it took me two hours just to film this but if you're watching parang siguro within 10 minutes pa pagkakonsume na itong boom video na to. Okay, hindi na tayo sa ending. These are the five essential skills that I think na kailangan idagdag into a college degree, college course, or college subjects because I think uh, this will be vital once you're an adult and ang dami-dami naman nating subjects na walang akwenta-kwenta and you would not ever use it ever in your life. Alright, that's it. Sorry if medyo malabo na yung last three skills that I've discussed but I still hope na you find value in it. If you find something na interesting or parang comment down below yung parang skill that you are most interested in to learn more about, I might make a video out of it, a more research video out of it. That's finally it for this video. Expect more vlogs this coming month. Kasi uh, yung god child ko, si Andre Jacob, will turn one this January 19. So expect a vlog from it. And this January 11, na pupunta niya ako. Event that would be in BGC, the keg. It's about talking to strangers, so I'll probably make a vlog out of it. So, hindi na ganto mga video is essay na sa bahay lang ako. So, yeah, uh, that's what you could expect this coming month. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Bye! Boom!